guys, what's up? It's Yama here and welcome back to the Sims 4 100 Baby Challenge. In today's episode, we're going to be moving out Cherry and also Chloe and it's going to be really sad because I really like these Sims, the twins, they've always been great Sims. Also, if you didn't already know, our bills came through. Mm-hmm, they did and it's quite a daunting prospect for us because they are 40,000. Somebody predicted about 16,000 and no, they were wrong. Check this out. 39,000 simoleons. We cannot afford that at all. So it's a matter of time before the electricity runs out. And when it does, we're all doomed. So yeah, until then, we're just going to make sure our Sims are happy and doing their homework. I think Dimitri's finished his homework. Yeah, he has. Good Dimitri. And what about his skills? He needs to get one skill to level three. We should have a look. He has no skills. Oh dear, Dimitri. What are we going to do with you? Okay, he's going to look after the babies. Or at least one of them. Oh, he's a nice big brother. So, change diaper, feed bottle. We'll have to look after them both. It looks like we're going to have to look after them both. Unless Cherry can come. Cherry, look after these babies. What? What is going on? These babies, they're so loud. What is even going on? I think Jack's coming to do it now. The confusion with the babies is unreal. Oh no, apparently Beckham's coming to do it. This is just a never-ending circle of confusion. What is even happening? Too many babies. Too many babies. Make them stop crying. Is nobody going to look after the babies now? Oh my gosh, right. I'm going to I'm going to leave these babies there. They are just too loud for me. I can't even deal with that, right? So, I guess what we can do is go into the main menu and move our sims out. So, manage worlds. All right. So, here we are. Let's click on here and then we need to manage household. I have no idea where we're going to move them to. Transfer sims. Oh my gosh. We're all old. This is so weird seeing myself old. I don't like it. Right, we'll move them into the Reaper household because obviously we know the Grim Reaper and he'll take good care of them. And he's pretty rich and he has a huge house, so hopefully that works out. Right, so I guess it's just us left now. Hopefully these babies will stop crying, but if not, I think maybe we should age them up already. They won't stop, guys. They won't stop crying. It's doing my head in. In the kitchen. I think Beckham... Oh, Beckham and Elsa are looking after them, actually. Right, I really want to age these babies up. But Beckham's in the way. Beckham, please. I can't wait to see what this baby looks like. Oh, here we go. Wow. Red hair again. All the girls that we have get red hair. Social butterfly and also active. Yeah. And we'll age this baby up. Oh my gosh, she is swagalicious wearing those sunglasses inside. We're definitely going to have to change that, I think. I really, I can't stand it when Sims wear glasses inside. I can't stand it when people wear sunglasses inside anyway. Never mind Sims, so yeah, I might have to change that. But they look quite similar to the girls that we've had in the past. And once again, the glitch where they put weight on has happened. So yes, Rose is looking quite chubby, but I guarantee that will be fixed in a day or two, maybe when she's had a shower. So there we go. We have aged the girls up and we have moved out two of our Sims. So I guess it's time to try and get Ember pregnant and also try and get Ember to do some more paintings so that we can generate some income because we don't have long before the electricity runs out. And I am not excited for that at all so let's go downstairs and take a piece of cake and let's have a look around the house to see if anybody's done any more paintings for us nope not down here nope not up here either so ember's gonna have to go and do loads of paintings hopefully we can get some masterpieces going on that would be really cool and maybe we could try and do some more books also, somebody left a comment saying that maybe the lot where the house is is like a community lot instead of just like a residential lot. And that's why all the Sims like hang out in here once we invite them in. So maybe that is, but we're not planning on staying here very long. So that issue should be fixed when we move into our next house, which I am super excited for. Oh, oh. What is going on here? Ew, More what? Sims glitches. <laughs> Oh, I'll never get bored of these glitches. Also, Ember is eating a piece of moldy cake, I think. 
Yep, she is. Ember, you can stop that. You can stop that right now. Uh, let's go to an easel to start painting. So I do believe there's one around here. Ah, yes, in here. So let's go and do a landscape painting. We're going to do a painting now. And we're going to get confident so that we can do some confident paintings. And hopefully they will be masterpieces. I hope anyway. Also, I'm going to go ahead and buy myself the Insuline Potion. Which is in the reward store. I should have enough for it. Insuline. Here it is. Oh, it's 750. We don't have enough. Right. We need to get some of these done. Cloud games with Ember. What? But I am Ember. Okay. Finish extra credit. What? Are these broken? Because... Yeah, I was going to say, did you see that? That was broken. Get to know Flake and help Flake with homework. So, Flake, come and get to know your mother. That would be great. Is it unfriendly? Get to know. Awesome. That should be done for her. I'm also going to get rid of this. Help Flake with homework. I'm going to get rid of the dance to music. And hug someone. We can keep that one. That's pretty easy to do. Okay, our first painting is done. And I've got to say, that is amazing. I love that painting. That is really nice. Wow. Let's sell it to an art gallery. Oh, and she's feeling confident now. So we can also do another painting, which would be great. Oh, it was a masterpiece. Yes, definitely going to sell that. Yeah. Now let's do a confident painting. What is this one? Get to know Flake. Have I still not done that? Flake, you're behind the easel. This is hard to click on you. Right. Let's get to know. Yeah, we completed it. The other one is show off muscles and help Rose with homework. I'll get rid of that one. Okay, so school is in half an hour. Has everybody done their homework? Everybody that needs to anyway. Yes, they have. Thank God for that. Yes, we did another painting. Sell that to collector. How many can I do in a row before it becomes cruel? I'm not sure. She's feeling flirty and very confident. Ooh. So I'm pretty sure this child is meant to be at school. Go. Go, Flake. You're going to be late. Okay, I think we've finished this painting. So let's sell it and then we'll go look after Ember because we've been neglecting her a little bit. Also, the toilets down here are broken. Maybe we could just repair this really quickly. There we go. Pee like a champion. Oh, we got $11 from our royalties. Amazing. I know. Okay, so let's go over here and get ourselves some food now. Have a quick meal, a microwave meal. Why not? Okay, so we have a principal's visit. Today, the principal is visiting Flake's class. Everyone is to be on their best behavior and not interrupt the lesson. Fortunately, the kid sitting behind him has decided to pelt him with something. Should he ignore it or ask the kid to stop? Let's ask him to stop. Flake scribbles on a note and passes it back to the kid. Stop or I'll tell. The kid wads up the paper and fires it at Flake, but misses and rolls up to the teacher's feet. For once, somebody else gets in trouble and Flake gets off scot-free. Awesome. Good job, Flake. The Ember's still making some food. Come on, girl. Hurry up. We haven't got all day. Oh my gosh, she's feeling very confident now. Look at this. Look at this picture of her. She is looking on point. Oh, look who's come to speak to us. If it isn't the one and only Elsa. She's being quite nice to us, though, surprisingly. Yo, we can ask him for a small loan. Should we do that? He is living with us, after all, so he should give us some money. He's been living in our house for ages. Is he going to give us some money? Oh, 500 simoleons. Great. Great. Not much. But maybe we could do that to loads of sims. Ask them all to lend us some money. And eventually, we could become rich. Okay, so Ember wants to go nap, but I say, Ember, go paint some more, girl. Just while you're feeling confident. Oh, yeah, Dimitri went out when he was younger, and he got loads of rocks and stuff, so I'm thinking about opening these capsules and seeing what's inside. This is exciting. Okay, we found a Dr. F, whatever that is. Let's see. Oh, okay, it's uh, one of those little My Sims bobbleheads. Let's open another one. We found a buddy one, we found a leaf one, and finally, 
we found a goth boy once. So when we move into our next house, which should be in about two or three episodes, we're going to put all of these collectibles on some nice shelves and make the house look really cute. We're also going to get one of those tables where you put all the gems and stuff in, so that will be really cool. But I guess that's it for today's episode. There wasn't really much going on. What I'm going to do is try and get some more money from painting off camera. It's pretty boring to watch, so I didn't think you'd want to see that, but I thought, you know, I'd film today's episode and just get some stuff out of the way, like moving the Sims out and aging the girls up. If you did enjoy this episode of the Sims Far 100 Baby Challenge, let me know and also leave a like, comment and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! So I decided against tattoos for the rest of my life. Number seven is any piercings. Yes, I have my ears pierced, although I never ever wear earrings. I end up falling asleep with them and they stab me here and it hurts, so no. I also had my nose pierced at one point, but it went infected like every day and I had to pop it with a pin and then put T3 